Hey, what's going on? Um, hold on, let me fix my mic. Hopefully you can hear me. So, today was a practice day. All caught up on pictures and I needed to get out the house. And when I do that, I just take pictures of random stuff. Like the shoes on my feet. So, yeah. Follow along. Hopefully you can learn something. And if you have any tips for me, let me know. I'm not a, a product shoe photographer but I like to practice on different stuff you know keep everything looped up geared up whatever that quote is but anyway so this is my new balance and this is an outdoor patio table I tried to clean as much as I could but obviously I didn't do too good of a job with it so firstly gonna start off spot removal get rid of some of these dirt spots I don't think there's really too oh well, there's a few on the shoes that you probably won't see but just to make it look good in pictures I'll do that so yeah before after before after and the Sun was behind me so I really feel like I need to lighten up this area so I'm just going to use the gradient I don't remember the keyboard shortcut so I just click on oh M and I'm going to do exposure and just drag that down oh it's negative so I need to brighten it up just a little bit so 0.26 looks good I don't want to overdo it too much uh, let me check my before after yep it looks good now I'm not gonna mess with the contrast I will bring the shadows up just a little bit dehaze I don't like to go overboard with dehaze because that's how it looks when you overdo your dehaze so I usually do about five and that looks good for my tone curve I just do the three dots I call them three dots and if you want you can bring this up and you can get that washed out faded look but I'm just going to do about right here kind of add a little contrast with it as well and let's see what it looks like without it I like it very subtle you don't really have to do too much especially with products because you really want to display the product from my understanding and right here I messed up I should have put some paper or some old newspaper inside the shoe because with these mesh shoes they tend to sink down so for saturation this orange brick wall I think it's red or orange I'm gonna get rid of that I'm just gonna bring down my saturation on my red my orange and and my yellow as well blue I'm not gonna mess with too much because that's a part of the color to show. I just bring it up a little bit more so those little accents on the shoes will pop. Before, after, before, after. And I'm pretty satisfied with that one. With this picture, I'm sorry. I'll add a little sharpness, hold down the Alt Option key to mask out the areas that I want sharp. And not too much. <laughs> Let me see. yeah that looks good right there enable profile correction I'm gonna do that because I was shooting with the 24 to 105 at 35 millimeter so it really don't make too much of a difference but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on and I think that's all I'm gonna do for that one um let me see and just a yeah and that looks good on to the next one and I'm shooting the same so I'm just actually going to hit Command C to copy and Command V to paste before, after, before, after. And those are done. So right here, 
I was actually playing with a prism for the first time. I think I'm not too sure if I like it, if it fits my style, so I'm not gonna use that one. I like this image. I did like this one until I done this one. And again, I should have put some paper towel, not paper towels, but some old newspaper or something to fill out the shoes. This one. This picture actually looks good straight out of camera. I do see that dot. Let me get that out. That. That. Looks good. So what I'm going to do is bring in my exposure a little bit. Dehaze a little bit. Increase my shadows. Play with this tone curve a little bit. I really like this <laughs> even though I don't edit a lot of pictures with this kind of faded blacks look I like it so I'm just gonna leave it a little bit on there about right there that should be good let me see yeah just right I like it <clears throat> and on this image I'm not gonna play with the saturation too much because it would look crazy if I just desaturate the red, orange, and yellows. That just, you know, that's almost select, that's pretty much selective color. And I'm not the biggest fan of that too much. So I'll leave a little bit of yellow, orange. I'm not going to go all the way back to zero red. There's no reds in this image. <laughs> oh, and if you double click, it actually zero out. I'm gonna bring that orange down just a little bit. And let me see where we at. Split tone on this image. Hmm. Nah, not liking it on that one. Detail, of course, I'm gonna add a little sharpening. Mm. The bottom right there is good. Because I really don't want to sharpen everything. I just want to sharpen just the shoe. And I could do a selective brush and do it, but I just like doing it this way. Especially for this image. If I was doing something else, I probably would have just done some selective stuff. But on this one, I'll just leave it. Profile correction. No, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to leave it on there. If the shoes was actually in the center of the picture, I could do a little, a little vignette, but <laughs> you know, or I could do it like this. That old school vignette. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this image. Um, the lighting was perfect. I like the colors. Everything looks good, so it was very minimal editing on these images. Um, so I do apologize for that, but yeah, that's how I edit my product shots whenever I do do them. Hope you enjoy that. Um, let me go ahead and copy that to this image. Really didn't make too much of a difference. But I could resize it. So about like that. That'll make a good Instagram story post. Bring that back. <laughs> Paste those things on there. See what it looks like. Well, it don't look too bad. I'm actually going to keep this image too. But out of all of them, I'll probably say this is one of my favorites. And this is my other favorite. This one was my favorite. Let me see what it looks like to edit on it. Don't look too bad. I was just playing around with that prism. And... I don't know. I probably need to practice with it a little more. I think it's a, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I just don't think it works for me and my style of shooting, but I'm going to keep it anyway. I might need it one day. And look at this image I took too of my, what is this? What lens is this? Oh, this is my 35 millimeter, the aperture blades. I opened it up to, well, I'm sorry, I closed it up to 
F22 and took it off and took this picture. Came out pretty good. You can actually see my reflection in the glass. But yeah, that's how I edit shoes and products, more so shoes. Um, that's really it. Minimal edits, big impact. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. If you have any comments on how I could improve on this type of stuff, also let me know too. I'm always open to tips, hints, tricks, and things like that. And I'm going to leave the links to all these images below so y'all can check them out. Do your thing. And follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. So, hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff, comment, and stay tuned. Peace.